Right, welcome to Mr. Matt Paul. Today we're going to look at the plots once more. So we have looked at the Rodolfi, Babington and Frock Morton plots. Great slide show. Front slide. But today we're looking at <coughs> the Babington plot. So a bit of context. We went, we've kind of gone through this, but there's a few extra things I've added on today. So 1568, Mary Queen of Scots gets the ball rolling. This is a cause of all the plots. She uh, arrives in England after being chased out of Scotland by her Protestant lords who didn't like a Catholic queen, especially one who had her husband killed <clears throat> because of this in 1569. You have the unsuccessful revolt of the Northern Earls. Pope Pius V then excommunicates her in 1570. You have the Rodolfi plot, which is the first plot which fails. In 1572, the Duke of Norfolk and the Earl of Westmoreland are executed. 1576, you've got the sack of Antwerp. In 1581, Elizabeth starts to treat Catholics a little more harshly. Recusancy fines are increased from one shilling to £20. In 1583, you have the Frockmorton plot, again that's un unsuccessful, and the Treaty of Nonsuch in 1585. So 1576 and 1585 are related. It's a point about the Spanish Netherlands. I'm what you would call the Netherlands or Holland today, where it's major city is uh, Amsterdam. Hello, yes, like to go there. It's very nice. Go to Anne Frank Hoosh. Anyway, um, my point is, <clears throat> I haven't really taught you about the, the, the worsening relations with Spain over the issue of the Netherlands, but I'll teach you that at a later date. But it's just context which adds a cause of this plot. And in 1586, you have the Babington plot. So the Babington plot, 1586, RTB 123. It's very, very similar to the Frockmorton plot. Very similar. So if you look at, I've, I've again set up a, a page here. So RTB, one, two, three, Rodolfi, Frockmorton, Babington. That is the order of the plots, one, two, three. RTB, one, two, three. Very good way to remember things. And the causes are the same. Catholics simply don't like having a Protestant queen. So Ampton Babington loves Mary Queen of Scots because she is a Catholic queen. And like the other two plots, the Babington plot centres around a Catholic number one to assassinate Elizabeth and replace her with Mary Queen of Scots. Okay, so it's the same Duke that's involved. Remember, this plot is only three years after the Frockmorton plot. So Henri, Duke of Guise, who is Mary Queen of Scots' cousin, is going to raise an army of 60,000 men to invade England. And Philip again is going to supply the money for this. So in that respect, it's very similar. And you could get these two mixed up, but the army which uh, the Duke of Guise is intending on raising is much larger. An army of 60,000 really is substantial. Um, now, these two are not getting on. So Mary Queen of Scots, you think she's been locked up since 1568. 18 years she's been locked up. So these two are not getting on. Now, they famously never met, <coughs> which is strange because they, they inhabit the same country, which is England. Obviously, Mary Queen of Scots came there for asylum after abdicating the throne in Scotland. And sorry, that's a mistake. They're going to change this. Uh, it should say Sampling Babington. For it would be uh, for England will return to its Catholic roots. So I'll change this uh, when uh, I upload the slides. Um, and yes, Babington basically gets in contact with a priest called John Ballard. And they start to weave a plot. Okay. So John Pallard is a Jesuit, and a Jesuit is a very strict Catholic priest. So that's probably the best way you'd understand it. So how did this plot get uncovered? Well, this man, Walsingham, he's a very effective spymaster. He's a very significant individual on this course. He's a devout Protestant, and he detested Catholics. So he's very passionate about his work in defending Elizabeth. And so what he does, he has a network of spies. Good old-fashioned spy. So, for example, uh, he would have double agents, people that pretended to be on the side of rogue Catholics. So he And he would pay them good money to do this. He did actually have some Catholics who were spies for him because he would basically give them money to do so. You could say he bribed them. He would also get um, people to pretend to be homeless and stay outside people's houses. But basically, this plot is my favourite plot because it's one around codes, and I don't know about you, but I love a little puzzle. And he got a man called Thomas Phillips. Thomas Phillips, 
to crack the code. Thomas Phillips was a expert mathematician. He was a he was he was a code breaker, and he found this code. <clears throat> Obviously, it wasn't zeros and ones like computers that you see there, but he he basically used substitution to to crack this code, and the code was snuck into Mary Queen of Scots through basket barrels. Okay, casket barrels rather, beer barrels. So, and the code was put in here in a hollowed out cork. And so it was a very sneaky way of transporting messages. But Sir Francis Walsingham's spy network was so organized and so good, they found the code, this code. And when they decoded it, they found that Mary Queen Scott had written on it that she should that they should set the gentleman to work. Which is basically saying enact this plot against Elizabeth. Now, if you're plotting against Elizabeth to have a kill, this is treason. And treason has to be has to be punished by well there's only one way of doing that and that is by execution so sorry i've noticed there's a couple of mistakes in this slide today and uh, it's embarrassing it's going to be in a youtube video because i don't like recording things twice but mary queen scots and mqos and Covington were executed. Okay, which is bad news. Very, very, very bad news for those two. It was the end of their lives. But you'll find that this has a significant, a very significant concept of consequences. So let's change this as well here. So I don't like these silly mistakes. Uh, if I teach you, you'd probably know that I do make those silly mistakes every now and again. So Babington. So Babington is executed. Boohoo. Right from current slide. Moving on very, very quickly. Sorry. So what are the consequences? Well, the very famous consequence was the Spanish Armada in 1588. So Philip II had been involved in three plots which had failed now. And he decided to take matters in his own hand. Instead of sponsoring people, he would just create his own armada to invade England. <clears throat> and you should know that this was a catastrophe for him. It did not end well. He bankrupted himself. Uh, it was not good news for Spain. Okay, the Spanish Armada in 1588. But it was a massive challenge. It was the largest challenge which Elizabeth faced. And it's right at the end of our course, actually, 1588. Elizabeth turned the screws on Catholics once again. She had 31 Catholic priests executed in England. So you could see she, was, she started by trying to find this famous middle way between Catholics and Protestants. But as her reign goes on, you see her being very, um, oh, a lot more harsh with Catholics. But you can't blame her. They keep on trying to kill her. So she obviously feels she needs to defend herself. And Mary Queen of Scots is executed in 1587. Now, this is massive. And I've mentioned it before. But this execution in itself is a cause of the Spanish Armada in 1588. It's a huge, huge deal. It also sets a precedent, that means a rule, that monarchs are not untouchable they can be executed so that's very interesting because you'll see in centuries which follow if you're a bit of a geeky historian like myself that monarchs such as king louis the 16th of france and of infamously charles the first as well in england were executed so was elizabeth's actions here against mary queen of scots something which established that precedent for those two monarchs to be executed it's very interesting and that is the end of the talk through today i hope you're staying safe i hope you found it interesting sorry for those silly mistakes but we're all human and i hope you understand the causes the events and the consequences of the barrington plot okay stop presenting oh stop recording perhaps stop recording there we go